Canadians missed the playoffs again this season. Do you think owner Jeff Molson is going to fire general manager Mark Bergevin? I think he has to, you know, and if he doesn't, then I think some more, there'll be some questions about what's going on with Jeff Molson because it, you, you can't have a GM who can't bring this team to the playoffs and stay on, that you can only get a pass so many times until you've got to get someone else into that seat to be the GM and think of different ways to fix this team and make this team competitive. So I think definitely Mark Bergevin will have to go. Well, it'd be three years in a row, four out of five. The Canadians like to consider themselves the New York Yankees of hockey. Imagine if this happened with the New York Yankees, heads would be rolling. So, uh, you know, the, the two years ago, I thought Jeff Molson should have fired Bergevin. He didn't. Bergevin's made a lot of good moves since then. But the moves, you know, the not signing Markov, the not signing Radulov, some of his previous mistakes have really come back to hurt him. Uh, he's still sitting on that $8 million in salary cap, you know, compared to the New York Yankees. Can you imagine the New York Yankees not spending every single available dollar on players? Um, so if they don't make the playoffs, I don't see how we can, from a business standpoint, I mean, there's already empty seats at the Bell Centre. The Habs have failed to sell out nine of their first 16 games. Fans are getting frustrated. And fans, if they miss the playoffs again, fans are going to want heads to roll, and he's the top guy. It's a no-brainer. He's got to have to go. People are already calling for his head. You know, and if the, the Canadians don't make the playoffs, and I think even if they just squeeze in and get eliminated in the first round, that's also his demise. The fact that he's in his eighth year of a five-year plan, um, if this was any other business and he was a, a COO or CEO of something, he'd be out on his rear end by now because the shareholders would have voted that individual out. So unless something drastic happens or he has, you know, naked photos of owners, <laughs> he, I don't see him being here come next year. Well, it's like, have you ever thought of a time that the Montreal Canadiens would have to go to Twango, a site that's similar to Groupon, to sell tickets to a hockey game? You never would have thought that would be And they had a Black possible. Friday sale. A bl on yes. They're advertising in the metros, on the buses. I saw that they have deals now for university nights. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a charity or like a youth group, they have groups for that in my lifetime. In 47 years of, of being a, a Montreal, I have never seen Montreal Canadiens tickets so readily available and easy to get. I'm not talking scalpers. No, and apparently there's been empty loges too, which is... That's the money. That, yeah. That's the money right there. So again, it's if they don't make the playoffs, something has to happen. I've never considered the naked photo blackmail possibility. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Okay, go to HockeyInsideOut.com now and check out this week's full episode.